Wrote to him a few times, actually. He's never replied. No? No, I was fuming. <laughs> Happy Boxing Day, people. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. Welcome to the Robert Parker Stadium in Stanwell. This is the home of Ithmian League side Ashford Town. But tonight, they've invited Binfield over for a kickabout in the Velocity Trophy. So you know it's going to be a fast-paced game. It's the Tangerines versus the Moles, <laughs> and it's freezing. <laughs> The stadium, which was named in honour of Bob Parker, who had served as chairman for 28 years. It has a capacity of 2,550, of which 250 are covered and seated. The Tangerines have had some big hitters on their team sheets over the years, including former Premier League and Jamaican winger Jamie Lawrence, who also had a spell as gaffer. On the women's team, Georgie Giddings. She once played for Chelsea, Reading and Millwall and also represented England Lionesses at under 17, 19 and 23 level. Talk about some talent. Here's a shout out to all the players that have played for Ashford Town and gone on to play professional football. Another week, another dugout, and let's start with the framework. As always, it is made out of metal. We've got some lovely curved perspex at the back and 10 orange seats available for our substitutes. Now, in our last video, you would have seen our manager cliches, which looked a little bit like this. Go on, work the line. Squeeze, squeeze, get them up. Hit the channel, hit the channel. Get on the left back, he doesn't want it. It's still nil-nil, it's still nil-nil. So we asked you to send through some more football manager cliches. And our favorite was sent in by Kane Day, who said this, recycle it, recycle it. Let us know your favorite footballing cliches in the comment section below, and I will badly perform it in a dugout on a cold Tuesday night. How you doing? I'm Matt, referee tonight. These are my assistants. Hello, you saw one here. Okay, Paddy. And this is our wonderful changing room here at Ashford. We've got a nice little toilet here for you. And a nice little shower. Nice little changing room, this. So the club have opted for a shield design with their name written across the top along the ribbon. This is an ash tree because Ashford back in old English times indicated a ford next to a clump of ash trees. These are the three swords from the county's coat of arms and we've got Middlesex because that's where we are. 1964 is when the club were founded but like Adele, rumour has it they were actually known as Ashford Albion in 1958. I don't know what else to say after that. Yeah, so the boys are just going in after they finished the warm up. Started off with just a lot of touches on the ball, obviously to get um, Saturday out the legs, get them moving again into our dynamic stretches, make sure they're all loosened up. We then split off into our groups, defenders doing specific stuff, midfielders and strikers in touches, finishing, getting used to hitting the back of the net. Then we come over, a little 5v5 plus 2 possession game, just to get it directional, get them into game mode, try and lift the intensity, and make sure we finish as high as we can before they go in. It's Tuesday night, it's freezing cold, but this pitch is still actually quite soft underfoot. It's about two weeks away from being frozen. If it does freeze, we've got problems because it's very bobbly in places. As for the goal mouth, it's had a little bit of wear and tear to be expected at this time of year. I'm fully expecting these Ashford Town boys to put on a lovely footballing performance. To be fair, the fact that we've even got a game of football tonight is the most important thing. But where does it go on our ratings board? I'm giving it playable. Just playable. Hi, I'm Luke Tufts and I'm the manager of Ashford Town Football Club. Luke, what's the Christmas period like for a non-league manager? It's hectic and it's a, it's a very difficult balance actually from keeping momentum and keeping the boys fit and sharp 
and giving them some well-earned time and rest off for the families. And if you tilt the balance the wrong way too far on the scales, it, it doesn't end well. So it, it's very difficult, but it's a really important period and one we try and get right. You're currently taking your UEFA A licence. Yes. Tell us about that. It's uh, something I've wanted to do all my life. I, I came from nothing in football, I guess. In the great scheme of things, I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by many good people that have helped me uh, through the years. And on the A, there's a lot of players that have been full-time professional footballers and whatever. And to them, it's just a box tick. But to me, it means a lot. And I'm learning loads. It's great. Um, I'm doing mine with the Scottish. I actually did a block with the English, actually, as well. It's quite interesting comparing the two. But yeah, but I love it. What's your style of play as manager? Mixed, mixed. If you've only got one style, I think at this level, I think you'll get found out. I think um, if you're a winter, look at the, the state of the pitches and, and whatnot here, they're, they're never going to be perfect at our sort of level. You have games on like Tuesday nights or whatnot when you've got players that have got a newborn baby that's been up screaming all night. You get They get to leave for work at six in the morning. They're working all day. They have a Tesco's meal deal and they, they get stuck on the M25 car park on the way and they arrive at seven o'clock. Are they going to be completely switched on and see the pictures? Perhaps not. And so for those reasons, you have to be a little bit more, uh, probably a little bit more um, direct with your style of play. And you've done wonders in that dressing room. We had a good run in the FA Trophy last year and we got through uh, three rounds, funnily enough. Um, and the club said I can do all with the money. It's not anything done for it for a while and the boys said, look, we'll just stick it into the club. So 3 g the dressing rooms and we made it nice. If you could share the dugout with any manager past or present, who would it be? Gareth Ainsworth, Wickham Wonders manager. I absolutely love him. I love his style of play. I love how, uh, yeah, I just love everything about him. I think he's quality. I've like wrote to him a few times actually. He's never replied. No? No, I'm fuming. <laughs>